So there are four universal questions that all landlords have when it comes to uh, lettings and property management. In this video, we're gonna address how a good agent can turn the average landlord into a super landlord. A landlord who feels like they're getting the income they deserve, they're safe, secure, protected, compliant, we call that hassle-free, uh, all without sucking up loads of their time. Plus, we're gonna address the not-so-universal questions, the things that should be on a landlord's mind, they should be thinking about, and there are eight of those. We've mapped them out into a process just for you. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Jess. I'm Adam. I'm Craig. We are ForTheLandlords.com. We're a letting agent. Uh, we help landlords get more money, less hassle, and their time back. And in this video, we're going to talk about the four universal uh, questions that landlords have when considering using a letting agency. And we're a letting agency. Um, but we're also going to expand it out because there's more to talk about. But what are those four things? So the four things, if you were to ask any landlord, are finding a good tenant quickly um, and you know, filling that empty property. Uh, number two, making sure that the property is looked after. Uh, number three, making sure that the um, uh, tenant pays. The fourth thing that a landlord will be thinking, will be on their mind with that conversation with a letting agency is fees. What are they going to charge me? Um, they're the four things, yeah? They're, they're, they're important points, but yeah. there's a lot more there's, to there's it a lot more. Definitely. <coughs> yeah. 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 There's um, probably questions that you don't even realise that you need to be asking, that you know the yeah. answers for. You know? a, exactly. Yeah. So, so we instead of just talking about those four things, um, we create sort of a method. We're going to expand it out into eight ways, yeah? Definitely. I mean, as a business, we have eight ways a landlord can improve their landlording, landlording life, wrapped up in a three-focused framework to make sure our landlords Easy for you to say. Easy, easy for you know, to say. Yeah. Say, yeah. say it ten times. Time. Time. <laughs> Look, it's a lot, but we make it simple and easy to digest, and it is worth sticking with us as we go through it. You'll understand how we do what we do. We get landlords better results. Um, how we work, what we do. So yeah, let, let's dive into it. Being a landlord, it's, it's a balancing act. Um, there's a lot to consider. I am a landlord. Um, I set up this business because I needed a business to look after my own personal family properties. Um, so, you know, those universal questions, let, let's get into those as well, but let's expand it out in this video to the eight things that uh, really matter to every landlord. Um, just before we dive into that, talking about the, the three focuses, I know there's lots of little numbers that are done around, there's actually more when you get into it, when, when you've been a landlord with us for three or four years, there's five that, six this, there's a pattern of that, there's, there's lots of things to go to. But when talking about landlord success, Adam's smiling, he knows them all off by heart. Uh, when you talk <laughs> about landlord success, it's worth sort of stepping back and going, what does success mean for me? Um, you know, the typical landlord will say, those three things, give me a tenant, get them fast, make sure they pay the rent and, put the, <coughs> and, and look after the house. Yep. It's a lot more than that. Step back again, success for me means, and we've thought about this a lot, I want to make the money I planned, to more money, not be in a greedy way, just make sure the money's at the, the level. That is, we're not doing this for fun, we're not a charity, more money. Less hassle, I don't want, and hassle is different to the third one, which is time. Hassle, mm. I don't want a lot of hassle. I don't want hand grenades coming in. I don't want to be, Put in a situation, a situation where I don't know something, the unknown, the unwanted, the untried, untested, all that stuff. It's just like pit in your stomach, horrible feeling stuff. Um, and then I want my time back. You know, I got into buy to let, into property to make money and um, make make sure um, yeah, make sure as a landlord you take the time. It's not you just trade another job for another job. If at all in doubt, um, yeah, that's what this video is about showing you how a landlord can benefit from having a letting agent and actually up, up, up their game in terms of being a landlord with the help of a letting agent. So um, let's get on to the talking points. Should we do the, uh, the elephant in the room first? Mm. Why, why, should I, why shouldn't I do this myself? Why paying a letting agent? Why pay a letting agent? Um, why as a landlord <coughs> should you pay a letting agent? I would say, um, <coughs> why wouldn't you want We've got 150 years of combined letting experience mm. for what for one house, a price, the price, a uh, cup of coffee. Yep, mm. a cup of coffee each day. Yeah. Yep, yep. Why wouldn't you want that? Yeah, I always think about an insurance mm. company. Um, 
you pay roughly the same amount for insurance on your house as you would for a managing agent, mm -hmm. um, but the um, you know you you on the end of the phone mm -hmm. to the I landlord the and the tenant. Or the key what thing, do you get for insurance? Nothing. The key Unless thing as well is you you. Um, you need to be available 24 hours a day, every single day of the year. Yep. And no one can be that. Mm. I, yeah. think it's, um, I think it's knowledge as well. You know, that's, that's a massive thing now. You know, it's, it's not like it was, you know, in the, in the 1990s where you just needed a, a gas safety and an AST. It's, yeah, it's a lot more. It's huge. Um, and my recommendation always would be use an agent because what the agent will give you back um, as a comparable, it, it's just it's, it's just yeah. there's just no comparison in terms of what it costs. Yeah, a good professional, like any good professional, they should save or make you more than they cost. And we're going to talk about how like, the eight things that we talk about are exactly that. Um, the trick is getting the right service for the right costs, of course. Um, one of the things that I, we do, I, you can never say uniquely, but I've never seen it done this way. There might be somebody out there doing it similar or the same, I don't know. But I know that it, it's something that we've worked really hard on, is getting our pricing pillars. On this website, you will find um, a pricing tab, and it tells you exactly what we charge. And something that we do a lot of is working with a landlord saying, well, that's the right service for you. You're going to do mm -hmm. this, this, and this yourself, or you expect that bit to be done, so we'll include that in the package. Um, you, 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 you know, or it could be you're um, out of the country, could never answer the phone, well, you need to be on this package then. And it lays out, it's not buried black and white somewhere in a PDF that you're never going to read. It's on our website in full colour and you click it and you dive into it. And every time we bring a new landlord on, we make sure we have that discussion and say, what's the right pillar for you? This is what we're going to do for you. That's not, that's, we're not going to do that. Is that okay? Or you can have it, but it's included in that package. So that's a, that's a, a very important thing. Definitely. It's um, also looking at the, what they want to achieve long term as well and helping them get to that point, get that point through the services that we recommend. Yeah, which by the way is point and break, I think. Oh, well, okay. Okay. let's get there. Let's get there. So, <clears throat> we're going to the, eight, the, the full eight yep. focuses. Okay. So, this is, this is a, a, a process that we will go through with any landlord. Any landlord or want to be landlord gets this as part of the service. We would run through the eight focuses with you and give you the answers. You know, we'll tell you some of the stuff now, but each one will throw up the questions at each one of these focuses. Landlords of ours, questions around this, we will answer it. So, first focus is... Avoid the void. So as letting as using a letting agent, Craig helps <clears> you <throat> avoid the void. What does that um, mean then? How? How are we how are we doing that? It's it's a mixture of things. I mean, um, the most obvious is curb appeal, making sure your property gets to the front. Um, you know, it's the first property tenants look at, it's the first property people call about. Um, that's one of the biggest things you need to look at in mm -hmm. terms of a void itself, so when it's empty. But there's other things before that, so it's going in there before the tenant leaves, making sure um, any works are pre-agreed um, with the tenant. You know, the list is endless mm. in that regard, yeah. Yep. Um, getting references done, speedy, quick, that's important, that keeps your void down. Um, making sure the compliance is done ahead of time, again, that can hold up a, a move in. Um, all coordinated by somebody else other than you because it, you know, it could be that something's ready at 10 o'clock in the morning and it has to be done by 2 o'clock mm. in the afternoon <clears> at the next <throat> stage. If you're at work, you can't do that. So using an agency, we would take care of that for you. We will keep the void shorter. And we know that versus other letting agencies or self-employed, uh, self-DIY um, landlord for sure, self-managing landlord, we will beat the averages and make you more money. So that's number one. Number two? Control bad debt. Controlling bad debt, <clears throat> no, really, really key. Um, landlords want to know that they're gonna get paid. How do we ensure that they get it, paid? It's just having a strict system, you know, not diverting from it, literally following it step by step. Um, and that's what we do. Um, yeah. we, we do that without fail. Um, having good relationships with tenants, so if they do fall into difficulty, you know, we can work with them, which we do. Um, and, and it's just having a, a strict, process that's that's followed yeah i know adam you did some research recently on the mm -hmm. the average um, vo um arrears rate in the industry which average was... arrears rates seven percent yeah we know of high street letting agents that have as high as 18 yeah. percent ours is always floats around one percent because yeah. of our Cause se of the seven system. points of contact yeah. in the first seven days after a tenant hasn't paid usually they pay because we're on to them straight away then there's another seven points of contact First it 14 works. days it to works. 21, it keeps it tight. to 28. And you have got to be there <coughs> daily to deal with it. And if you are, it works. If you're not, or your agent isn't, then it just won't work. Okay. So that's number two, control number the bad debts. Number is three. ensure that your maintenance is um, value for money, that you're paying the right amount for any maintenance that's required on the property itself. 
Um, from my point of view as a landlord, uh, you know, value for money is really important, but also this is where you can have a lot of hassle taken away from you. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what that problem is. I know that if I don't fix it, the environmental health mm. officer or the tenant's not going to pay or I'm going to get a fine or yeah. something. So value for money is also that the person gets it done quickly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's been quick. It's yeah. been quick. It's been quick. <laughs> never and knowing. It, never dry yeah. feet. Just yeah. And it. um, it's worth mentioning, uh, 24-7, 364, five days a year. Mm. It is 365 days. Yeah. Christmas Day, they'll answer the phones. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, totally. And you have to, by law, as a landlord, yeah, yeah. Um, you're going to get yourself into trouble if you put your head in your sand and say, oh, yeah. I won't answer it or deal with it, it tomorrow. It's a question yeah. we get asked more and more, especially by local councils, you know, what, what do we have in place for yeah. what out of hours? Yeah. And it's something all landlords have to think about. Yep. Yeah. And some landlords don't, mm -hmm. and some agencies even still don't. But yeah, we've got yeah. that as a system. Um, having the right tradesman, identifying the right job, doing right... Time, cost, and quality, they're the only three things you can actually quantitatively manage if you're in a job. Um, they are all KPIs within our business. So that will save you money. You know, having 10 different plumbers that we can send out is going to keep the prices keen. We should be able to find local <clears> fact. We can put a new boiler in to a rented property cheaper, quicker, with better, longer warranty and guarantee than a DIY landlord can. Because yep. you know, when I try and improve on the system and do it myself, which <clears> as a little test I've done, nowhere near. I'm a I'm thousand pound over or you know, yeah, okay. it takes me time out of all. Yeah, so number four. Number four is be compliant. Big thing. Mm -hmm. As a landlord, yep. be compliant and the property itself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and grenades kill. This is where it can be lobbed in and boom. Mm. It's literally just following everything. To, you know, to, to the decimal point. Yeah. Don't skip over anything at all. The fines are, are huge, and, and every year they're just increasing more and more. Um, so compliance is, is a big one if you are a landlord. Yeah. yeah, how many pieces of legislation are there right the, now? There's, there's well over 180 <coughs> pieces yeah. of legislation that just relates to a landlord. Yeah. That's not overall property tenant, that is just for a landlord. Yeah. Um, Fines from They'd, five grand to thirty grand. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Easy. Um, for not having a license, for yeah. not registering your yeah. deposit, your gas certificate. Right uh, to rent, ten thousand yeah. pounds. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, a ten thousand pound per tenant. Per tenant. So if there's five tenants in that's yeah, that's yeah. big, big money as a landlord, you know. Um, and don't think it's not gonna happen to you because it's happening more and more often. The reason the fines are going up is to fund the people to go and do the fines. Also, AI <laughs> yeah. and computers are making it really <clears throat> easy. You, know, you search yeah. through stuff, they can send the letters out through the post. They know you're a landlord because you own it on land registry, <clears throat> but somebody else is on the council tax. They know you're a landlord. They're sending a letter automatically. They're fining you automatically. Um, if you use a letting agent, if you used us, we would take all of that hassle away from you. So cool. that's okay. number four. Next one, number five, is make sure the property is at market rent. Hmm. How many landlords and letting agencies are deficient in that way? Because we, uh, we most self-managing landlords are. Mo are. Most are. Yeah. Half of management take-ons aren't quite at the right level. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and they're not just a little bit behind. You know, they they way below. Mm -hmm. Sometimes as much as fifty percent. Yeah. Regular review. Um, it's fairer on the tenant. Doing it once a year is just fairer on the tenant. Mm. Don't forget, plumbers, electricians, your, your mortgage. They're all going up. Yeah. So you've got to pay those bills. Make sure that your income is going up because your outgoings will be. It's not a problem as long as you keep the income. It's also level. cheaper for the tenant to have a slight increase than have to move out and rent another house because they'll find that their rent yep. goes higher elsewhere. Correct. Um, that was number five. So number, number six is if you've got a mortgage on the house, have a regular mortgage review. Make sure that you're not overpaying. Yeah. So you, interesting here, <clears> we're a letting agency. You'd expect us to put tenants in talk about all the things we talk about, compliance and rent. We start to talk about things that we've hopefully demonstrated. We're talking about things that are standard things, but in a very different way. We're on video talking to you on our website for starters. That's different. Mm. But we've got a deeper understanding. But now we're starting to talk about things that the normal letting <coughs> agency... We're not, we're not mortgage brokers. But we're landlords ourselves. We're so landlords it's different. ourselves. It is yeah. different. We're for the landlords. We've thought about what your questions are. We're not letting agents... Uh, sorry, we're not, um, not mortgage brokers. We're not <laughs> trying to sell you a mortgage broking service. That's not... that we, we stay independent. But we know it's important for you to have the right mortgage advice. We've got a panel of people we can put you out to and get, get you mm. the right advice. <clears throat> They're the people we use. But it's important that we as a business recognise when you need that advice. And you might not recognise it yourself. We'll flag it up and say, when was sure. the last time you had a review? Because you know, it matters for your overall profitability. And we, we will get involved in 
answering those kind of questions for you if you need. Yeah, so yeah, that's number six. Number seven, similar theme, and something a normal agent, letting agent might not talk about is tax. Yeah. You know, and putting you in touch with a good property yeah. accountant, mm. basically. Yeah. Most, yeah. most agents never talk about tax. Mm. No, because they don't understand it. And, and we don't, we're not tax advisors. Um, but we can talk about whether you're a new landlord starting out mm -hmm. or you've got 20 houses in your own name, you want to get them into a limited company. We can talk about all of that stuff. Mm. Yeah. So um, <coughs> having the right person. So, so both points, um, six and seven there, mortgage review and tax, we're opening up our little black book. Our black book becomes your black mm. book. So it's more, it could also be solicitors, bookkeepers, um, surveyors, mm. all those questions. And it's all part of the review. You wrap all of the things that we're talking up, talking about up in an annual review, or if you pick up the phone and any time you want review, and it's a portfolio review or a one single property review or a current situation review, and you look through it and you say, I've gone through the eight points, you need to do this, this, and this, and it, and it works, we know it works. Yep. So that was number seven. Um, number eight. Number eight is um, buying more property. If you're doing it all right, you should be wanting to buy more. And I think another thing that makes us unique is we have a sourcing service. Um, there's a tab on the website, you can click that. We have teams of guys across the Midlands and the north of England. We can help you source your next property. And if it needs a renovation, we can do that as well. Yeah, we're the UK's number one property sourcer. There we we have, just so you know, sourced, that is found, fixed, and then rented and now manage out over 1,200 houses. So we've done this a lot. I'm a, I'm a landlord, I set the business up to look after the properties I've already got, but I love the fact that I can build my own portfolio on autopilot. I'm buying houses <clears throat> all over the UK, mainly yeah. north, north, northerly based at the moment, but I never see them. I see pictures and videos and I see the money yeah. dropping in the bank, but yeah. Mm. So look, before we wrap up, because we just, we've talked about um, what we do. We've answered some questions that will be on your mind about how a letting agency works. Let's just talk a bit about how we do it, actually us uh, physically. So. Um, yeah, we like systems, processes. We've got a tenancy management hub. Our landlords like that. Mm -hmm. is something that Craig set up mm -hmm. and uh, it works well. Um, I think your setup gives the best of both worlds. You've got specialists yep. and your person. Yep. Um, because I, th I think it's really important you have specific people doing specific things. Yes. So, you know, not, not muddy in the water. Every, everybody's an expert in their own field. Um, and it's also consistency, doing it the same way each time. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, that's so important yeah, in the industry. A, 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 absolutely. Um, the the other thing that I know that and we're going off on a tangent, we promise not to do it, but we have a, a, a one-page landlord success plan, which has got six focuses. <laughs> so the three focuses and six things you do. So I know there's a lot of numbers coming out of it. But one of those spokes on the wheel there, the planning wheel, is uh, the team agreement. And one of the things that we will work with as a landlord, and a, 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 it's, it's a relationship, landlord and letting the agency relationship, upskilling you, the landlord, so that you know more. Because it's, it's, mm. it's a common thing where a letting agency will be dealing with a landlord on the other end, trying to explain something in the moment, but they don't know that thing. So it's mm. kind of like, why do I need to do this? I've, I've had it. I mean, this, hopefully that's, this isn't you, but why do I need a gas safe certificate? I think most <clears> landlords are past that now. But... Um, if you're a letting agency you're trying to explain to a landlord why you need a gas certificate, well, you're a long way behind having a good relationship, aren't you? Because it's almost like argumentative, even though we all know you must have it. If yeah. you don't have it, there's very good reasons. So we will spend time not just helping a landlord, answering their questions, but identifying where there's a gap in knowledge and like we can mm -hmm. fill that in and go, oh, this is really good. We should do this, this, and this. Licensing is one of those things. We're getting yeah, asked. There's, there's yeah. a few things. Licensing, right to rent, yep. regulation. Yeah. It's all those things that landlords just don't know about. Yeah. And or, one, or, you know, the vast majority of landlords. Don't and know when about. you learn about it as a landlord, Adam will have this because he speaks to landlords in sourcing. Mm. So Craig fixes that, fixes the license. You've got a license. Great. Adam will see if he's speaking to a landlord who's going to buy in a licensing area and they'll be a bit nervous about it. But when you explain it and explain mm, that when everybody gets licensed, and licensing only typically lasts for about five years, the standards come up, the prices go up, the rents go up. It's mm. actually a good thing, but unless yeah. you understand it, it sounds scary. So um, that's a bit about how we do stuff. Um, right, if you want us to rent an empty property or take on a property that's already uh, rented onto our management, what do you do? Um, well, it's, it's like a the switch. Blue, it's, like, 
yeah, click the button. Click, click the, but, it's the blue button, the talk to us button. It'd be like switching your mobile phone contract or um, your utility bills. It's mm -hmm. as simple as that. We'll do it all for you. We do it all for you. There's a template email that goes out to your old, uh, your old uh, agent, telling them what's happening, explaining all the key um, timeframes. Uh, we will contact them. You don't have to speak to them. We will contact them. We'll pick up the keys, pick up all the right paperwork, do the handover. We'll assess your current contract that you have with them. Yep, that's Look, really important. Find the, you know where you can get out of that contract. Lots, lots of agents yeah. will try and hold you to a clause. You've seen it before, Craig, yeah. where um, there's this, this, this clause. Some of them are unfair. Some of them Quite often breached it anyway. Fine, yeah, I was going to say They've breached thing. it. So we, we can help you um, give notice in the right way, take everything on in a nice, orderly way. So if that's you, if you want us to rent your property, or take over a property that's already rented into management, click the blue button, we will make sure the right person gets in touch, comes out and sees you, takes pictures, put it on the market, or contacts your old agent, or brings it over. Or if you DIY, do the same thing, you know? Make sure, fill in the gap, do, do a check, this is what all the documents you need, let's bring it over on this date to make a nice clean start. If you're not sure, but you're interested, click the yellow button. It's the join us for free button. Doesn't cost anything, so yeah, we're, we're called forthelandlords.com. If you're a landlord or you want to be a landlord, you pretty, Pretty much you should join yeah um you, when you do that we'll keep in touch you'll unlock the vault all those good things if you click the yellow button it explains exactly what happens um i think that's us i think we've wrapped up cool. that is what using a good lettings and management agent can do for you and specifically what using for the um the helpful letting agent can do bye for now cheers bye